<laughs> so I think this is another fine mess you've got me into, Jenny. <laughs> I've got, I'm wearing this jacket. Why? Well, my, my tatty old jean jacket. <laughs> because I embellished the back with the needle felt. I knew there was a better side Turn to me. Around, I knew there was a better see? side. Right, pause, pause, pause. You see, here we've got an embellished back. So I didn't want to put anything on the front because you might have got something in just the wrong place, and that would not have been a good idea. <laughs> so I've used wool tops here and literally embellished the back. And that you can do with the machine I've got in front of me. There is no sewing, it's just bashing or meshing it together. You may together, take that off it's now. So kind. Yes. It's actually quite hot in front of the camera. Not with this on. <laughs> what I'm going to very briefly do today, because I think this is a fantastic bit of kit. There are a variety of embellishers, needle felters out on the market, and they will all do much the same thing. You can actually use them to not only put layers of fabric together, um, something called wool tops, into another material. They will literally combine all sorts of fibres. They like fluffy fibres the best. They can be used to make felt, so you can actually make your own felt. You can use all sorts of things on the machine. There is no sewing, there is no thread, it just pounds layers together, it meshes them. That is a felt made from this stuff which is called wool top. Now if you go to the States they call it wool roving. So if ever you buy one of these things and it says in the instructions you need wool roving, wool roving is another word for wool top. So these are these lovely soft fluffy wool tops. And they're available from the specialist they're available shops, from, aren't yes, they? Yes, again, you know. so Google it and go on yeah. online. You can make a variety of things from it. This is all made from literally felt that's been pounded together. There is no stitching of any sort whatsoever other than the machine used to create my sort of snail in the middle. You can use any sort of yarn you like. Furry, fluffy yarns are probably the best. You can even, if you must, use this stuff. Now go on, what is it? I'm going to wonder about what it. It looks it? like something my hoover gets what throws is it? up. What is it? Is it hoover fluff? Not quite, but you could use hoover fluff. I hadn't thought of that. Mm. No, Go on, what give is up. it? Tumble dryer fluff. Oh, well, I wasn't quite far wrong. See, yes, tumble yes. dryer fluff can yes. be combined to make the most wonder... And tell you what this is. Now, this is very special. That came out of somebody's sewing machine. They had not cleaned it out for so many months that you had so much felt inside it that it produced that. Oh <laughs> so you can use that. OK, how can we make this machine make felt? First of all, you need a bit of the wool tops. So literally, just a very tiny bit. You can mix them, and that's how I got these rather nice mixed colours, by just literally taking this stuff. All right, so I'm not using any fabric, I'm just using the fluffy wool. Combine it all together, stick it underneath the needles. Now, we have 12 needles on this machine, hidden behind a cap. This plastic cap means I cannot get my fingers mm. underneath the needles. The needles are barbed, and basically what happens is as you bash away, the barbs combine the layers together. And you simply skate over it. You are allowed to do this sitting down. Skate over it and skate over it. Now I'm going to make felt. It's a bit like making pastry. When you've rolled it out and it's really thin, and you've got thin wispy bits around the edge, fold it in and just keep on bashing and keep on rolling the edges in and you just go on and go on and go on gradually getting all the layers to combine together and the more you turn it underneath the machine the more the fabrics the fibres mesh together I like to turn it over every so often and you can see when I turn it over how much fluffier it is on the other side bash away I've got a bit of a thin wispy bit here, so I'm just going to bring it in. And just keep on gently turning it. I mean, you can do it one-handed. Come on, you have a go. That's it. You've got a bit at the end there. You can sort of whip in, fold it in. That's it. Tuck it because, because we've got this guard here. Yep, you can't get your fingers cut. You can't cut. get your fingers cut. Right, now take it, take it out and turn it over. There we are, put it underneath. And you could add things to that, and you literally are making, that's it, shove it under there, a piece of felt. When you've got fed up or bored or whatever, Enough. this yes. can then be literally cut out and used for anything. Now that actually has made... It's quite strong. Yes, it is. It? Yep. 
Now, if I wanted to combine the two bits together, I maybe not because of the colour scheme, but if I just literally took that, put it on top of that, I could bash, mesh, combine the things together. So that... Well, it's kind of like a seam, isn't it? A seam, yeah. yeah. You see? Joined together. You can add sparkly bits. Yeah. Now, what I like to do with that then... And I can't get it apart. No. It literally can't, won't come apart, so I have to cut it off now. But this is where you could then cut this felt into any shape you happen to fancy. So you could make it into, I don't know, let's have a, let's have a flower. Things, make sure. petals. Yeah. So cut this out and make it a little flower thing. So you could literally cut it out, make a little flower. You could do it more artistically than this if you so desired. And the nice thing about it is you can use all the little bits to combine together and just stitch it on top. And there is no thread, there is no nothing. All it is is literally combining layers together, mashing them together. Let's give it another couple of petals in the middle. This would be a really artistic flower. So you get rid of that. I can put that on the middle there. Combine it, okay, stick it underneath there. It meshes it together. And now I can put an extra petal on. Another one if I wanted to. And you can just build the things up. I mean, the children can use it. The safety guard is there. The needles are easy to change. Yeah, and we've we got an X, I know. No, Mathanwi is real whiz at this. I'm just a real beginner novice. And you can begin to add on your flowers. Let's give it a couple more petals and we'll give it a middle. You choose a colour for the middle. Or just as a piece of, or up yeah, from just here. Mm, a bit of wool top. Let's have a bit, That's a bit one more bit of this. Stick another petal on. And one last little petal is just about enough there to get a sort of little petal out of. Stick it on there. Let's see. Right. Move it into the middle. And pound away a bit. And the middle. And then you just literally put that in the middle there. Squidge it down. Stuff it underneath. And make a get, start. Make a start. Get your needles pounced in the middle there. And then it's a roundy roundy in the centre. And there you are. Oh, wow. Look at that. And how long did that take us? Well, five minutes, if that. A bit less, bit less than that. So that is, and when you've looked at this machine, the things you can do are amazing. I mean, there's no reason why you can't combine it with machining. No. And this is my favourite piece of artwork, this. This is tree and sheep, OK? Tree and those are sheep. sheep. All right? Sweet. It's an amazing bit of artwork. It is, that, isn't it? Yes, probably one of my better pieces of designing. Yes. New gallery, it oh, comes. Be, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, you know. Raymond's tree and three blobs. In fact, I'm quite good at doing blobs, as you might have seen by some of the other samples. Oh, so there you are. Yeah, all right? Really that is nice. the embellisher or the needle felter.